Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another Children's Church. I am so glad to see each and every one of you guys as you're coming in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It reminds me of what Jesus said, let the children come to me. Don't stop them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like these children. So again, I say welcome, good morning, as we get ready to go into worship. Amen. Today's scripture will be coming from John chapter 20, verses 24 through 29, and it reads, Although Thomas, the twin, was one of the twelve disciples, he wasn't with the others when Jesus appeared to them. So they told him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, First, I must see the nail scars in his hands and touch them with my finger. I must put my hand where the spear went into his side. I won't believe unless I do this. A week later, the disciples were together again. This time, Thomas was with them. Jesus came in while the doors were still locked and stood in the middle of the group. He greeted his disciples and said to Thomas, Put your fingers here and look at my hands. Put your hand into my side. Stop doubting and have faith. Thomas replied, You are my Lord and my God. Jesus said, Thomas, do you have faith because you have seen me? The people who have faith in me without seeing me are the ones who are really blessed. God bless the readers, the hearers, and the doers of his holy word. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, which art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen well listen now to the true story of the doubting disciple who believed on the sunday evening that jesus was resurrected his close friends gathered in a room together but thomas was not there they had seen the empty tomb earlier in the day but still they had locked the door they were afraid suddenly in their midst Jesus appeared before them. Peace be with you. Jesus spread out his arms to show them his hands. They could see the holes where the nails had been. Peace be with you. The disciples were filled with joy. Later, the disciples went to find Thomas to share the amazing news. When the disciples told him, Jesus is risen. We have seen him. Thomas did not believe them. I won't believe unless I see the scars in his hands and touch him to know he's real. It's too hard to believe. The next week the disciples were together again in the room, and this time Thomas was there with them. Once again the door was locked, and once again Jesus appeared before them. Peace. Thomas, see my hands. Thomas, touch my scars. Thomas, stop doubting and believe. My Lord and my God. Thomas, you believe because you see me. Blessed are those who have not seen, yet believe. Thomas was one of the first disciples to recognize that Jesus is not only the Lord, but he is also God. That's a pretty amazing belief from such a doubter. So remember, with God all things are possible. So don't doubt. Believe. I'm a huge fan of the game of baseball. Even though the game has been criticized for being too slow, it's a thinking person's game. It's the type of game where you have to use strategy, where you have to figure out what your teammates are going to do and how you can make sure that your team is in the right position to defeat your opponent. But if you're on a baseball field and there's no one else to play with, it would be kind of lonely. That's what I think about when I think of Thomas and the story that we read today. Thomas was the disciple that loved Jesus. He was close to Jesus. In fact, at one point when Jesus says that he was going to go see about Lazarus, Thomas was the one that stood up and said, I'll go with you. Not every other disciple did that. Thomas wanted to be where Jesus was. So for Jesus to come back and to see the other disciples and not see Thomas, he had to have felt pretty lonely. But brothers and sisters, young people, what I want you to understand is it doesn't matter what you're going through or how you may feel. You can feel lonely. You can feel afraid. You can feel like there's no one else around to play with, no one else around to hang out with. But the Lord always knows what you're going through. And if you think about it in this text, the disciples had locked themselves in a room because they were afraid. And Jesus still came to see about them. And then there was Thomas who said, unless I can get a chance to see him myself, I won't believe. But Jesus, knowing that Thomas felt that way, came to see about him. You may be hurting, you may be fearful, you may be sad, but no matter what you're going through, Jesus wants to come and see about you. So no matter where you are, what you're doing right now, understand this, we serve a God that will come see you if you lock yourself in your room, if you're out on an empty field, or even if you're surrounded by teammates. But for all of us, 
We're much better people when we have somebody else that we can go through this with. And even if you may not have your friends, your family to you physically, close to you physically, there is a God that hears your need. And there's a God that wants to help. There's a God that wants to come see about you. All you gotta do is let him know. And when he gets close to you, reach out and grab him. I'm Chaplain Madison Carter, and those are just some thoughts for you. Before the end of every worship service, we have an opportunity to extend discipleship unto everyone. And now this is the time where you stop and think about the lesson that you've heard for today and make that decision that, you know what, I want to be one of Jesus' disciples. For those of you who don't know what discipleship means, it simply means I would like to be one of Jesus' follower. Meaning that as a follower of Jesus, you're willing to share God's word. You're willing to show the love of Jesus to everybody. You're willing to pray, read God's word, and study God's word. So I know we're not at church right now, but you can have that conversation with your mommy and your daddy and let them know that, look, mommy, I am ready to be Jesus' disciples. Amen? Amen. And mommy and daddy will be able to have that conversation with you and how to accept the call to discipleship and the steps you need to take to being Jesus' disciples. Most importantly, when we return to the, to the church, you will be baptized and receive your right hand of fellowship. Okay? God bless you all. We continue in worship by bringing our tithes and offering. Usually, you all refer to this moment as bringing your Jesus money. In reality, it is a form of worship that allows us to bring back a tenth of all what God has blessed us with, also known as stewardship. Since we are home and away from the church, I will ask that you ask your parent to send in your Jesus money when they are sending in their tithes and her, their offerings. Remember, God loves a cheerful giver. So glad you took the time to join us today. Now you can show your support through online giving. Simply text the word giving, G-I-V-I-N-G, from your handheld device to 703-382-2832. Hi everybody, um, this is a craft for Doubting Thomas. Uh, we've heard about Doubting Thomas and everything that he went through when everyone had came and told him that Jesus was alive and he said he needed to see Jesus for himself and see the holes in his hands from the nails. So this is a craft that we're doing in honor of that. So this is what it looks like. Here's the outside of the hands, here's the inside, and here's the verse. In the inside okay so step by step and if you don't have the cutout that I've sent to everyone everyone should have gotten this if you don't have this I made my own so here's my own and all I did was the same thing that's on here I just traced my hands I put a heart on one spot and I put um, <clears throat> the slits on the other spot and I even did the ribbon right over here so same effect it's just your own hands okay so then what I did this this is what you pulled off this is me coloring it color it any color you want to any color at all so once I colored it then I cut it and when I cut it now you fold it down you see the little slits in here so there's little slits for it to go through so once I cut it, I just fold it in half, and then I put this, the verse, right through it. So, and that's all you have to do. So the verse went right through here. So you see it's this way. 
and then it goes right through here. So it's just another, and the hearts on the hands are, are because Jesus loves us. So you all remember that. And <clears throat> this is all you have to do. So that is your Doubting Thomas hands. Miss you all. Take care. Be safe. Wear your mask and your gloves. God bless. Cut. Hello, boys and girls. We've had a wonderful time at Children's Church today. And again, I would like to thank Chaplain Carter for a wonderful uh, message about the doubting Thomas. Yes, Thomas, one of the 12 disciples, felt lonely. However, thank God for who God is because even in the midst of his loneliness, Jesus was able to show up for him and let him know that he's not alone. Just like you guys today, you are not alone. Jesus is right there with you guys. So remember that Jesus is always with you. He loves you. He cares for you. We want you to be safe. And again, we'll see you next time at Children's Church. Before we go, let's close out in prayer. Father God, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, that in the midst of loneliness, oh God, you know how to show up, oh God, and help us. Father God, Lord Jesus, to know that you are always with us. Father God, we pray that you help us to stand on your word. Help us, Father, to remember, Father God, in the midst of doubt, Father God, you have shown us nothing but love. Lord, we love you. Father, we thank you, oh God. We have faith in you, oh God. We rest that you are always, you are a good friend, Father, that will never leave us alone. So Lord, as we go forth this week, be with us, oh God. Walk with us, sit with us, and as we just continue to tell about your goodness, oh God. We look to you, Father God, for our help. It's in your precious Son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen.